All right, so maybe you can see it. I don't know how much of the detail it's picking up. But the tree is starting to sprout leaves again. Focus tree. It's recovering pretty well. You know, as we do, as we do. Um, and uh, I'm out of the hospital as of today. Check that out. I won't be able to walk for a while. Not even with a boot. Um, this is where they parked. Uh, the assholes. Well, a little further down, maybe. Maybe front bumper to where that back bumper is, that car. Um, happened right over there. Uh, by the uh, cactus patch. I was doing this stuff here. Let's go for a walk. I don't know if I can do this with the crutches, but... I was doing this. So I was uh, clearing the dry shrub organic matter from over there, mulching around the acacia here. Which is doing pretty well, if, I, uh, if I'm allowed to brag. But that's not considered work, huh? Because I'm not getting money for it. Uh, I'd like to say, on yet another platform, check out that tree right there, too. Pretty healthy, huh? Work and employment are not synonymous, absolutely and utterly. Work and employment are not synonymous, utterly. Absolutely. Um, and you know, it's, it's part of the reason, that's where they broke my knee right there. Right between those two rings right there. I locked my feet into the ground and they bashed my knee. They bashed me with, uh, dude, it was heavy. It was heavy. It's not too strong. It took like three of them to get me to the ground right there. I was unarmed. They kept suggesting that I was going to use my pruning shears, the ones I was using to cut here. This is the state that I left that in. So you can tell I started mulching there with the, uh, it's, um, I forget what the plant is called. It's a type of mallow. Broke my leg. Now, here's where most of that struggle was. I don't know if you could tell how much flattened grass there is right here, you know, versus non flattened grass. I was standing right over there. All right. There's too much glare here. I can't see the screen. Right over here. And I was using, you see I've watered it a bit, so that's what the new growth is coming up from. Nobody else waters it. This was covered in garbage, which I filled up a couple of trash cans full, tr little small trash bins full of uh, buckets and carried over and threw into my personal garbage bin. neighbors won't combine, but they're getting a the dog barking at them. So, this is where most of the little scuffle went down right here. Um, they lost my red pruning shoes, my hand pruning shoes. Those are for like three quarters of an inch and less than or something like that. No, maybe half an inch and less. Yeah, half an inch and less, something like that. The bigger ones are like three quarters and they're not quite an inch, I think. Or maybe five eighths of an inch. I don't remember. Kind of. 
Anyway, I'm on meds right now, so it doesn't hurt so much. It still hurts. I, I can't go on car rides without it hurting. Um, most cars don't have the leg space. I'm like six foot two. I might shrink after this. My my, my initial thought reaction was that the, I heard the crack. I heard right over there. I heard my leg snap, and I shouted out. I yelled out um, that they had broken my leg. Nobody came out. None of these nosy ass motherfuckers who can't mind their fucking business. None of them came out to help. You know that thing about uh, work and uh, employment are not the same thing. Work and quality work are not the same thing, and that's why so many fucking people, so many pieces of shit, are born into humanity, and they deserve basic human rights. I know that. I know that. To my death, I will say that they deserve basic fucking human rights. Even if I feel like I should go back on it, they deserve basic human rights. You were born into the human fucking race. You didn't have a choice in that. Neither did I. But we are not the fucking same. We are not worth the fucking same. Just because you're born human doesn't mean you're quality human. Doesn't mean you're a good human. Doesn't mean you're a good person at all. Probably doesn't mean you deserve to live. But we're stuck with you, huh? We gotta make make it work out somehow. Oh, hey, look. That bitch over there. She spoke with them. They went up to her door and they let her know that they were driving me off. Uh, you know, no need to call the police. We are the police. Or whatnot. She's uh, she's the mother. Oh wait, we have a video of that. Uh, right around Christmas time when they were hanging up decorations, December or something, 2018, I think. Anyway, so I was just doing that, and you can tell it requires some maintenance. Uh, the ficus is going to require some maintenance, thinning out of the growth, you know, directing like that one right there. So it's not so bushy and weak like that right there. But they removed the side, the lateral branches, so it's going to be structurally weaker for a while. Um, the stuff coming out of the top is going to be top heavy and scraggly, not strong like that. That looks pretty good. But yeah, I, uh, I heard I heard the snap and I thought, you know, oh great. I'm just barely healing from my broken leg. They probably snapped in the same fucking place. Great. Little did I know the fracture is worse. It's, um, it's on the plateau of the tibia from the middle outward. The whole corner's broken off. I had to get some bolts, some screws, um, and some uh, and a plate. They even grafted some bone, I guess. Uh, something for the screws to grip onto or something, I don't know. Which apparently was more expensive than the plate. When I was hobbling back, I got this blister that's already healing. I healed pretty well, I guess. It's been about a week, and uh, I've got um, that blister is now pretty healed. Still healing this. This bitch right the fuck there. Her, uh, her husband and her son kicked me in the head several times. They wouldn't. They didn't want to let me get up off the ground when I dropped my camera. That camera's broken for good now. It's broken. Um. Because I came out and started asking for witnesses about, you know, the, the death threats, the gun. Uh, who, who was there? Did they know them? Did they hear anything? And, uh, no. They decided to take the fucking opportunity to just try to jump me. And, um, yeah, so the day I hobbled over from... That's where they dropped me off. They dropped me off on... Like, probably past where that uh, Cyprus is, that Italian Cyprus, on the sidewalk. They dropped me off on the sidewalk over there in front of the gate to this primary school. And I had to walk all the way up here. Uh, part of the way up the sidewalk, I saw a man there. He was sitting there, and I asked him for a pole or a broomstick or something I could grab onto so that I wouldn't have to, you know, take so long. After that, I was able to walk a little faster, but at the cost of that blister that I have now. Um, yeah. So, yeah. I was doing this. I was doing this. I was cutting that back. I don't know if you could tell the soil is more exposed there. I was trying to expose the, the rocks there so that they could get more 
more heat to the cactus. Uh, she's walking her little metastasized tumor blob in a little cart. Like I said, you're born into the human race. That doesn't mean you're a good person. That doesn't mean you're a quality fucking human. You're born into it. You don't get a fucking choice. I never got a fucking choice. You're born into it. You're born into it. You had no fucking effort put into it. You, you, were, you were fucking gametes. You were sperm and egg cell. You didn't fucking earn it. You don't have to earn it. And for all your little fucking cancer turds walking around saying you gotta earn this fucking life, you're proving that if it were that, if it were that way, if that were the case, you don't deserve it. You don't. You don't deserve what you have. You don't deserve what you can get. You don't deserve anything you've ever had. You're born into being human. You're born into it. Hey, maybe, maybe, maybe we'll make something like machines that can can do it even better. But for now, every two-legged ape walking around counts. And that's why this shit carries severity. That's why it carries weight. That's why there should be consequences and there hasn't been. And that's why I'm really fucking pissed. One of the fucking things I was told is, you know, you're going to be in recovery a long time. You should, you should study. Man, I was out here picking up these people's fucking garbage. These people's fucking trash. Nobody is paying me for it. It's work. It's not employment. It has to be done. Somebody has to fucking do it. Are the cops out here citing people for it? Giving them citations? Giving them warnings? Threatening to give them citations or, or threatening to lock them up? Threatening to break their fucking leg? No, I got my leg broken while I was out here picking up trash. Literally. The other time before, right there while I was taking care of that tree. Its wounds are still healing. But we heal. We heal. There's so many fucking people on the planet. So many fucking people. And there's so many brainwashing to this you need to earn a living bullshit. You know who works hard? You know who who does a lot of work? A lot of those uh, those organized crime syndicates. What's the difference? What's the fucking difference, man? What's the fucking difference? If there's no fucking honor, there's no fucking duty, there's no higher values, what's the fucking difference? Favorites? Pick a color? <laughs>